everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids, and this is my fifth video in my PC build series. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you the Cooler Master HX850W power supply. It's a modular power supply. I'm going to be showing you what you get inside the box and how to install it. So let's open this box up. Very hefty box, this one. Find out how to get into it. Here we go, side opening. Now we've got user's manual here. Pop that to one side. We get a little bag here. And this contains all of the cables. Now this is what makes a modular power supply better, is that you don't have loads and loads of cables that are unused inside your case. You're only going to attach the cables that you need. And you've got all of the SATA, all of the power cables, everything you're going to need inside this pouch. So we've put that pouch to one side. We also get a 3-pin UK power plug. We get some cable ties for making things nice and neat. And then we get the power supply itself. Awesome packaging in this. If I show you this main power supply, let's get this box out of the way. I've actually... Uh, put the power supply in this sort of drawstring bag to protect it. So that's extremely well packaged. Undo this. It's also in a bag inside as well. So there we go. There's the power supply itself. And now I'm going to show you how you install this into the computer. Just very quickly before I do install it, this is the bundle of cables that are necessary for all installations. So this has got power that goes to the motherboard, etc. That's why these are hardwired already into the supply, because you're going to need these anyway. And then just round here, if I lift this up, this is where you can put all the various connections for peripherals and hard drives, etc. And then round this side, we have got the power, let me put that around the right way, the power on off switch and the receptor for the IEC mains cable. So let's get this installed into the PC. Okay, installing the power supply couldn't really be simple. It goes in this bottom left hand portion of the case here. Now the reason I stand the case up to do this is because the power supply is very heavy and if I was working with the computer laid down and I dropped this it would damage components inside the PC. So I always stand the case up to put the power supply in. Now it goes fan side down because this is obviously going to Draw in some cool air underneath the case. Simple matter of lowering it into the case like so. Turn it off so it's in the off position. Now that's the power supply installed. I'm going to just swing this round again to show you. Now that's actually installed in the case. I'm not going to do all of the wiring yet. I'm going to do all of that in a separate video to show you how to wire up all of the system. But this video is purely just to cover showing you how to get the power supply into the case. So please tune in again tomorrow and I'll be showing you how to uh, install the hard drives and also the optical drives into the system. This video is sponsored by MyMemory.com. For great prices, fast delivery and reliable customer support, visit MyMemory.com.